Castlevania the Netflix series. I have to admit, I never thought I'd see it happen. I've been a Castlevania fan for a long time, and for almost as long, I've heard rumors of the series coming to movie theaters, but nothing ever really seemed to happen. For those of you unaware, the basic premise of Castlevania is that you are a member of a family of monster hunters known as the Belmonts. And the Universal Studios monsters are all holed up in one castle led by none other than Count Dracula himself. It's a simple concept, and whether or not I like to admit it, the lore doesn't really get much more complicated than that. You get the occasional curse or Belmont gone missing, but the series is pretty straightforward. So now there's a Netflix series, this one based on Castlevania 3. Which means the only alteration to this simple formula is that Trevor Belmont is the first one to make this trek, and is aided by three other personalities to bounce off of. But more on that later. So what do I think of the show? I'd like to use this YouTube show to talk about issues that I have with certain media, rather than actually be a review show. But if I had to describe this show in one word, it would have to be incomplete. Don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly impressed by what I've seen so far. The action, the animation, the character development coming from a medium where there previously was very little character development. But even with the knowledge that more episodes are coming, I just couldn't shake the feeling that something is missing. Let's start off with the obvious. There's only four episodes. And as such, it ends up feeling like less of a season of episodes and more like a prologue to something much bigger. Like when they show the first 10 minutes of a movie online to get you hyped for when the whole thing is released. But with only four short 20 minute episodes, the creators of this Netflix show still took their sweet time. I mean, I already explained the setup in less than a minute a little while ago. Two men, both hated by society, both misunderstood by society. One chooses revenge, the other chooses redemption. Instead, we are left with a mythology on characters that were never even in the games. Dracula is raining hell down on the small country of Wallachia. We don't really need to know about a group of people who orally keep their history called the Speakers. And personally, I might be alone here, I kept calling the evil preacher Frollo, because he reminded me of the character from Hunchback of Notre Dame because I couldn't remember his real name. I really feel like the series could have benefited from more focus on less characters. Which is strange, because they chose to follow this method by eliminating one of the main characters. One of Trevor Belmont's companions in the game is an agile pirate named Grant seeking revenge for the death of his family. What we have in the show is the personality of Grant mixed with Trevor's personality, and what we get is Trevor being a cocky yet funny bit of a drunk with a straight-laced sense of duty. So I really have to ask, why ditch Grant in favor of characters that the audience has no reason to care about, such as an old man whose only purpose is to give Trevor a quest, and a guy whose brother is his cousin? And yeah, that is a thing in the show. I suppose it gives Trevor a reason to care about the people who rejected him, but if his traveling companions, Sypha and Grant, are both from Wallachia, doesn't that serve the purpose without making things more complicated than they need to be? The motivation is rather weak. But in the video game, you really didn't need much motivation, so that was never an issue. Which brings me back to my earlier question. Does Castlevania even work in a medium other than video games? I'll admit, usually it wouldn't because Castlevania is normally one man by himself in a castle with no one else to talk to. But this time we have a group of four completely different personalities and motivations that you wouldn't think would be friends, but they are, because they're all outcasts. I really feel like they dropped the ball here because the setup is already there. It's the Wizard of Oz, only instead of meeting a wizard, the Belmont is off to kill a vampire. Along with the way, he meets three companions that have their own reasons for wanting the vampire dead, only instead of a scarecrow, a tin man, and a lion, you have a pirate, a sorceress, and a dompier, which is a half-human, half-vampire. It's simple, but it works. It's a road trip movie. 
but it's too soon to see if they're gonna go in that direction. Because as I said before, all they gave us was a prologue and not an actual season. And making it simple, but complex, doesn't really require you to just make up mythos that nobody cares about. While I do feel like the opportunity for simple yet complex has been missed, what is there still has me excited to see what comes next. And I count that as a win. As always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about Castlevania down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this show that I am putting on on YouTube. The best way that you can support me, as always, is to uh, give this video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends if you want to. Just remember to have a great day and uh, take care of yourself.